Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Tinker's Card Art, and I'm popping in today to show you a quick and easy way to up your gift giving. Um, when you're giving a gift, you want to add a little something to it. A hand painted note card or a little tag might be just the ticket, right? So I purchased these little um, craft cards at Michael's and little craft tags. And I thought I would paint a little something on them. I thought we could, hey, Kristen, thanks for popping in. I thought I could paint, you know, the card maybe on the front, maybe a little something on the corner of the envelope. You could have a matching tag. They even had little bookmarks, which would be really cool painted as well. Hey, Teresa, thanks for watching. It's just gonna take a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and paint. I think the sunflowers that we've been painting would look really cool on this craft background. Hi, Debbie. You guys probably saw me paint the baseball cap, right? I'm going to kind of use that same design and put it on those little note cards. I have not done this before, but I thought it can't be that hard, right? You guys will be along for the ride to give me some support. So I'm going to put the camera down and I will um, start painting. But you can see the hat that we're going to copy. And, and the colors are pretty basic. I'm using a few shades of yellow. Um, you could use just your one shade and mix it up if you needed to, but I had it here on my desk, so I've got a primary yellow. A little bit of a more of a gold a yellow ochre these are very similar i've got an orange and a light orange black and white and a couple of shades of green okay so let's just jump in i may even outline it a little bit with my paint markers i'm really not sure yet i'm going to see how it goes and they had different shapes but i loved this card with the scalloped edges i'm going to start i think i'm going to use a little filbert brush which is that rounded edge that way it'll give me the nice shape of a flower petal You've seen me paint before, you know I go from dark to light. So I'm gonna start my sunflowers with this golden color. It's like a yellow ochre. And I'm not even sure, I'm not sketching it on. You can do that if you'd like to give a little sketch. I think I'm gonna paint something right in the middle and then for the envelope, maybe paint the edge and the tag. I'm gonna paint them all at the same time. That will save some time. Now, this craft colored background, is going to it's going to be a little hard to see maybe that gold color but i still want to start with that color it's going to get brighter as we go and we'll make it pop a little more so let me show you the strokes i'm doing i've got my filbert brush i'm taking that golden ochre and i am starting the stroke pressing it down pulling it up and look at you get a nice petal shape there i've made one big flower there these little guys, kind of a little bit of a flower poking out from behind. Maybe I'll do one up here that's a little bit smaller, but a little overlapping. I just want a little bouquet. I want a place where leaves can come out of. And it's that one stroke that I'm using is just press and pull, press and pull, and it gives you some petals. So we might want to inscribe the name on here so we don't want to paint in the middle. But how about a little sunflower in the corner there and most times I don't want to leave it just a little flower floating along by itself I'd like to put a few behind and it gives you that little corner design and maybe just maybe just a little few petals peeking off the top edge of that envelope there so we're lining all those guys up oh Debbie you can't hear me hang on let me see is it better can you guys hear me I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments here if you can hear me. I've got my, I'm not sure. uh, there, I think, I think I can hear the sound coming through my machine, so let me see. All right, and the tag, we wanna have a little something you wanna write to and from here. So, all right, and the tag, we wanna have a little something you wanna write to and from. Okay, I'm gonna shut the volume up. I don't wanna hear myself twice. So we're going to leave the middle of the tag empty. Thanks, Tracy. I thought I, I, thought I set all the settings up right, but you never know. I am going to put a few little petals there on the edges of the tag. This is such a base coat, remember. I'm gonna go over this with a few shades. I'm even gonna put a little orange in there too now. Okay, I'm just gonna dry my brush off of my paper towel. I'm not gonna really bother washing it at this point. I'm gonna go in and get a little orange here too now. And I don't mind if I'm painting wet on wet. I don't mind that I want some of the color to sort of blend in. So can you see I'm doing the same strokes, doing some orange. I'm just going over the gold. The gold is still there in the background, but I'm just going to, I want to have a lot of different shades before I put that nice bright yellow on for my top layers. So I've got gold, I've got some orange. 
you see I can go kind of fast. I almost want to paint a little fast so that the colors do blend in with each other. I like it when you have different shades. It's not just the straight color. I love the way it looks on the craft background. What do you guys think? Do you like that craft background? I, I chose that over just the white or the ivory colored note cards. This is not much to do on this one. We're just gonna put a few little orange strokes in here. I might throw in a little bit of, maybe a little bit of the light orange, just here and there. It doesn't have to be everywhere. I'm building it up in layers. This is pretty much how I did the cap, if you saw my video on the cap. It's a fun little way to make quick little sunflowers on almost anything. And you will see in a minute when we start getting the bright colors and how they pop, it'll be nice. And just a little, little orange here and there. Oh, good, Debbie. Okay. I mean, you can watch and see what I'm doing, but it is kind of nice to be able to hear too. And I'm trying to put this all in front of you so you can see. I think you can see as I'm going. Okay, we've got a couple of layers on there and we wanna to get to having it so it's going to be the yellow and gold. So we're gonna start lightening that up a little bit now. I am gonna rinse off my brush and dry it really well so that I can add some of the lighter colors. Yellow's a little transparent, so when we get to that top layer, we're probably gonna make our yellow a little more opaque by adding some um, white to our yellow. But let me go, I'm gonna take some of that middle shade of yellow there. Let me start back with this guy. I'll go in the right order here. And I am just making some strokes on top. This is going to have to dry a bit before I get those bright colors on. And can you see I'm not really worrying about hitting every petal. The sunflowers that you see are all the petals are layered up as, as you know, the way they grow. It's not a single layer of petals. They're all layered on top of one another. And I think using these different colors will give you that effect, which is kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna go and put this middle shade of gold or yellow on here next. Then I'm going to do the leaves so we can let these colors dry a little bit and we can get some nice bright yellows. Oops, went into the wrong one, not that it matters. And they're getting some nice layers of color there. These would be fun at Christmas for, with little poinsettias actually for your Christmas gift tags. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bigger square brush now for my leaves. So you saw the, the, the um, strokes we were using for the petals, and you've probably seen me do this before. It's really just taking your brush flat, pressing it out, pulling it up, and you can almost even twist a little bit if you want a nice petal shape. Works for all kinds of flowers. If you saw my one stroke flower video, then this will look familiar to you, but I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit on this white paper and how that you can how you can get those cool strokes. So for leaves, it's a little different. I'm gonna get a little square brush here now. I think I'll go with a little flat square brush like that. Let me show you on the white paper just to give you an idea of a, a shape that you can practice on. Uh, this green I have, it's like phthalo green. I sh I've used this color a lot. I love it mixed with some yellow. It makes a really nice green. You can of course get a nice green if you mix your primary blue or ultramarine with yellow as well. And this is a leaf that I'm gonna use with the one stroke. I press, I twist it, and look at the nice little leaf shape that you get. Press, twist, lift off. You get that nice little thin edge by just twisting the brush, getting on the chisel edge, and then lifting it off. I know people say, oh, I can't get that thin line, but look at the thin line you can get with a chisel edge of, of that nice flat brush. So it's press and twist and pull. And when I am pulling or I am making a thin line like that, I am using very, very little pressure. I am not, if I was bearing down, look at I'd have a fat line. I am hardly touching that paper. I'm hardly gripping my brush. I'm very light, lifting it off. And I know I've showed you guys this a bunch of times, but if you wanna practice it, it's just a fine line lifting off. That works with your liner brush or your round as well. Lot, um, light pressure and lift it off the paper and that way you can't help but get a nice thin line. So I'm gonna make some of these on my note cards now. And you can use a, a bigger or a smaller brush. Um, if you want a bigger leaf, I sometimes go to just a, another uh, flat, just a little bigger. I'm gonna start with some darker leaves behind and get lighter, just like the flower petals. And I'm tucking them in, just coming out from here and there. So I see how I'm just pressing that brush and twisting it. It's a larger brush, but it works the same. That one kind of got gooped up, but let's just fix it. 
we'll just press again and twist it. And I'm going to layer leaves on top of here as well. So they're just kind of coming out from behind. I'm doing the dark first. I'm going to put a few bigger ones on here and then I'm going to switch to the little brush. And you'll see how they can get the same uh, little effect with a smaller brush because this is a much this tag is pretty little so we're just back to the little tinier brush same thing just try to get that string out of the way so we don't paint on that and won't that be a cute little tag it's a little keepsake you could say someone who receives this as a gift could save this and you can see I can make a few little smaller leaves there I'm going to lighten up that green I'm just adding yellow and making it just a little lighter. I also have this lime green on my palette. It's pretty much the same color I just mixed. It's got a little white in it, so you can see the, how, how it's a little more opaque, which is nice. And I love to overlap. I go right over some of them. You don't have to have them all separate. And if you're like me, it's hard to stop. You could just keep going. I sometimes put them coming inside the little where the flowers are together. Same here. You can see how I would like to overlap one there and maybe make that that way. You could overlap and make a few. You could have a couple. Whatever you would like. I'm trying not to touch the wet paint and then put my fingerprint on one of the envelopes because that would be typical something that I would do. There. Okay. So we've got our leaves. And we're going to go and get our really light petals that are going to pop and jump out at us. And you're still going to have those darks in the background, which is nice. We're going to use that filbert brush, that same brush we did the petals with earlier. But I need to really lighten that yellow paint up with some white because honestly, it won't even show up as it is. It is very translucent. So you can see I've added a good bit of white there into that yellow. And let's start with the big ones here. And I'm doing the same shape, uh, same stroke, press, pull in, and look at these are going to be a little brighter, which is kind of nice. Now here's a little tip. I know um, these are very light. I'm going to go extra heavy with the white, and then I might go over it with just some yellow after, because they really aren't going to show up unless I do that. So I've got some there that are a little more transparent. A little more white on some of them. And they're coming along. They're kind of coming alive, right? A little bit, I think. And it does look a little different <clears throat> than on the cap because the cap with that black bar background really makes those light colors pop. But but they'll they'll pop on here a little bit too. I'm going sort of fast, you can see. I'm not worrying about each little petal being perfect. Sometimes if you stress and try to make them perfect, it just looks too tight and too contrived. I'd rather do it a little looser and more natural. There. All right, let's get some, see if I can get some of the bright yellow here again. I should have gotten my, brought my hair dryer out to uh, dry some of this so we could outline it. I, I may outline them later, but I can't really outline with my paint markers now. Maybe on the leaves I can. These petals are going to be too wet. It's fun to use the paint pens a lot. I have a couple different brands. I use the Posca ones a lot. These little fine ones are a Pinto, Pintar brand, and they're great for finishing details and things. Um, it's actually paint in the marker, unlike the Sharpies, which is just a, a marker. These are fun for details if you feel a little um, you might not want to do the details, uh, the writing and things it, it, with a paintbrush, and you're more comfortable with the pen. They're a great, uh, a great tool to use. But the thing is to remember is they, it, any wet paint will kill the marker, so you have to let your paintings dry really well and then go back on. So we will not outline the flowers, but I might do something on the leaves so you can see the effect. The centers of these guys are just big dark brown centers. I um, did not get brown out. Hang on. I've got my black there to mix it with, but let me get a brown. Let me get a little brown. I have a little burnt sienna here. We'll just make a dark brown. And they're pretty good sized, so we're just going to go right out over our petals a little bit. There. 
Like I said, any brown you have, add a little black. I just want them to be pretty dark. And they go right out over the beginning of the layers of your petals. And let me check. I can, um, if you have questions, you can let me know. Thanks. I see that you all can hear me. Yay. And I did send a text message. I remembered finally to text you guys and say, I'm going live, which I have neglected to do. I do have a texting service, so if you want to catch me when I go live, I can text you a little reminder that I am popping on to do something. I don't really plan these. I just sort of get a, you know, a little idea and on a whim I'll pop on and paint with you guys. And this is just a quick little one today. If you want to be on my texting list, um, this is the number here. It is 978-315-5650. I will put it in the description afterwards, and I should have left it there for a little minute, sorry, uh, in case you want to screenshot it. It's uh, right there for you, but I'll put it in the description. That way, if you would like to be on that list, you will know when we have an event or when I'm painting. All right, there, we've got all our little centers. Sometimes I add, like on the hat here, see the little white flowers kind of in there just to sort of add a little pizzazz. We could do a little of that. Those are simply just little one stroke flowers in just one color. And I just pop them in, coming in from the sides, wherever you want. You could do whole flowers on this, where it's an edge design, I'm leaving them like that. On this guy, if you wanted to, you could put the whole flower and can you see how they're one stroke but I'm going from the outside in and that makes them look a little more natural so always work from the outside in and if you want to really add a little bit extra you could add these little flowers and those little petals and you can even add a few on the little tag and you don't need much on this but a few maybe one here and I'm going to mix some white with that yellow for the little centers there so that you can see them. They're going to be a little translucent if we don't. And okay, pretty easy peasy. Just some little centers. A lot of times I will just do the centers in white as well and then when it's dry, pop the yellow over it. I know it's August and I don't, I, I, I've been painting a lot of sunflowers. I know now I'm sort of thinking fall quite a bit, but I thought a few more sunflower projects might be the ticket, right? Okay. The only thing I'm going to do for these centers where they're really tiny, we don't have to get into too much detail, is I put little pollen dots around the center. You can take a little dotting tool. I have a little dotting tool. You can use just your little liner brush, or you could even use the back end of your brush to make little dots. It's super simple, um, and I just use any and all of the colors that are on there. So I just make these little dots, and I'll pull this up and put it in front of the camera. I'm going to do other colors, but can you see it's sort of around the edge? I'm not doing a perfect line on the edge. I'm going onto the center a little bit, onto the sunflower a little bit. They're just little pollen dots. You could even do these when your painting is good and dry with the paint markers if you would prefer. And if you're catching me live, that's great, but remember it's always a recording here on the page, so you could come back later and get your paints out and paint along with the recording if you would like to. And just think of all the possibilities, the different holidays or seasonal designs you could do on little, it doesn't even have to be a floral. You could do a little tiny lighthouse scene. If, if you've seen me paint the little miniature canvases, the same sort of scenes would be great painted on this. And a little card, which then turns into a keepsake because it's really a little piece of artwork. And I was surprised to find so many choices of little cards and things at the craft shop. So you can do just white. If you like that look, you can leave that as is. I sometimes go and take a few other colors just to add a little something because, you know, I always want to add a little something. There we go. 
and I'm putting together a schedule for our August classes here on the page. So we have some fun paintings coming up. I'll get that schedule out and the events made. There's a couple paid classes and there's a couple of free classes as usual. And I'd love to see you pop into paint on those dates. I'll work on that later on and tomorrow. Okay, that's probably good enough. If you would like to see how the paint pen work, paint pens work though, the leaves are very dry. So you could take your paint pen and if you wanted to, you could make your veins with that. Look at how easy that is. You could use a dark color, but I think I like the white. And I'm just making the little veins. When these flowers are dry, you could certainly do some little veins there as well. So same thing, you could just quickly do the little other pieces you're working on. I really love the feel of these paint, uh, paint pens. And I wonder if I have a green one. I'll show you a little, uh, another little trick. Whoops, I have all colors here. I thought maybe the yellow one would be kind of cool for a little, if I don't touch the paint, I'm okay, but I thought about maybe kind of outlining the petals a little bit, which are, are kind of neat if you like See the way that looks just a little loose on the edge? I don't want to go too much because these are pretty wet. But if you wanted to, you could kind of outline your petals with the yellow or with the white. But let me see if I have a green, which I'm sure I do. The, and again, like the paint is inside, so you do shake them up a little bit to mix that paint. And if you'd like to just give the little leaves an outline. These are it's all per personal preference. You are... I am not the boss of your painting. You can add whatever you like. Can you see the way that looks just a little more whimsical and a little more fun with the little sketchiness around the leaves? You can do that if you like. You could use that green for some of the light stems if you'd like. It's just how sketchy you want to have it look. I like that look. I think when it's dry, I will go around and finish it up with the little things. So that's it. How easy is that, right? What a, what a nice little presentation that would be with your gift, right? Well, anyways, let me say goodbye to you guys because I will um, see you later. I was, oh, sorry about my.